This video covers the general life cycle of mosquitoes and diagnostic characteristics. Mosquitoes are vectors for several diseases including malaria, lymphatic filariasis, dengue, West Nile, yellow fever, and Rift Valley fever. Malaria is a major public health disease in most tropical countries. It is transmitted from one person to the other through the bite of the female Anopheles mosquito. The male Anopheles feeds on nectar and plant juices and does not transmit malaria. There are about 4,000 different types of mosquitoes in nature. However, only 40 known species of Anopheline mosquitoes are vectors of malaria. In Africa, Anopheles gambia and Anopheles finestis are significant malaria vectors. Correct identification of the target vectors is critical to the successful implementation of any control strategy. There are four stages in the life cycle of a mosquito, beginning with an egg, larva, pupa, and then the adult stage. The adult Anopheles female mates once and continues to lay eggs throughout its two to three week lifespan. Anopheles eggs are laid singly directly on water in batches of about 50 to 200 and are unique in having floats on either side. Culex eggs are usually distinguished from Anopheles because they are laid together to form a raft. Eggs hatch within three to four days, although hatching may take up to one or two weeks in colder climates. The main parts of mosquito larvae consists of a head, thorax, and abdomen. The larva has a well-developed head with mouth brushes used for feeding on algae, bacteria, and other microorganisms. The Anopheline larvae have no siphon or breathing tube and rests parallel to the water surface. They breathe through specialized short tubes lining the body known as spiracles. In comparison, the Coulisine and Aedes larvae have breathing tubes and hang down from the water surface. There are four developmental stages of larvae known as instars. Factors such as the water temperature affect the time required for development. It is shorter in warmer waters. Anopheles mosquitoes prefer particular breeding sites, which are covered in the entomologic field techniques collection of larvae and pupae video. The development from larva to pupa lasts about three to four days in normal tropical temperature. The pupa is shaped like a comma and stays at the surface of the water. As with the larvae, pupae must come to the surface frequently to breathe, which they do through a pair of respiratory trumpets. No feeding goes on during the pupal stage, during which there is a major transformation from living in water to emerging and living out of water. Anopheline pupa are relatively difficult to distinguish from other species in the field. Therefore, laboratory identification is often needed. The ability of field workers to identify mosquito pupae from larvae and other insects is important. When possible, field workers should try to separate pupae from larvae collections, unless otherwise instructed. The pupa stage takes about two to five days before the dorsal surface splits and the adult mosquito emerges. The adult usually emerges from the pupa at dusk. After emerging from the pupal case, the adult mosquito rests for a short time in order to harden its body. Shortly after emergence, the mosquitoes mate. The males form large swarms, usually around dusk. Females fly into the swarms to mate. Females may take a blood meal every two to three days. Blood is needed to develop their eggs. A female will lay a batch of eggs before it takes the next blood meal. In general, adult mosquitoes are easy to identify from other insects. However, care should be made when distinguishing between male and female mosquitoes. Male mosquitoes can be distinguished by their long hairs on their antennae, which give it a bushy appearance. Antennae of the female only have a few short hairs. 
There are three main features that can be used to distinguish between anophelines and coulissines, the maxillary palps, the wings, or the resting position of the adult mosquito. Only female species of the genus Anopheles have maxillary palps that are as long as the proboscis. The coulissine's proboscis is much longer than its palps. The wings of the Anopheles species have characteristic pale and dark bands at the interior. Culex or Aedes mosquitoes do not have wings spotted with dark and pale bands. Adult Anopheles mosquito tend to rest at an angle of between 50 and 90 degrees to the surface. Coulissines tend to rest with their abdomen about parallel to the surface. Duration from egg to adult of Anopheles may vary between 7 days at 31 degrees Celsius and 20 days at 20 degrees Celsius. You have now seen an overview of the mosquito life cycle and diagnostic characteristics. For more information on IVM or training materials, please visit our website.